Welcome, welcome guys. This is ESD, Electric Scooter Delivery. As you can see today, we are up with the PPEV that I own. We got the Nami Borne Max 2, the Haybike Explorer, and the VC10 Plus external battery. We're gonna take all of them, do a test run, comparison, and we're gonna see which one do what, and I'm gonna talk about it a little bit. So I really appreciate you guys joining me. If you haven't joined, please join the channel. If by the end of the video you have any question, don't be shy, ask. Leave it the comment below, I will reply. Also, I'm using the Insta360 X3 with a wireless microphone that's giving me a problem every once in a while, but altogether pretty good. The camera, I love. All right, guys, let's take it on a run, see which one do what. I'm gonna take out all my three PEV. We're gonna do a test run on each one of them. Not a test, but we're gonna run on each one of them, try to compare each one of them. And I'm gonna give you specification on each one of them. So we got over here on the left, the Beast, Nami Bone E Max 2, 40 amp battery. Okay. We got over here, 11 inch tire, adjustable suspension, big deck, fast scooter, can go up to 62 MPH. In range, it can go depend on your speed. If you go average between 30 to 40 miles per hour, you can probably get around, I wanna say, 30 to 40 miles. If you go faster, it will definitely gonna be less mileage. I try to go average of 35 and definitely get 30 miles and up. If you be a little bit more cautious and go 25, you can get around 50, 60 miles in range on it. So for me, and I'm saying for me, it's more than enough on range. I don't need any more than that. All right. This scooter is not cheap, but it worth every, every penny of it. This is definitely my favorite one. I put some accessories on it. I got the new display with the sunshade on it, quad lock, mirror, speaker, hook, alarm, air tag that is hidden and I got some nice front light even though the original one is good and a nice pouch <clears throat> it comes with the steering damper as you can see let's move on we got the e-bike hay bike explorer okay that's the latest edition it's a fat tire 26 by 4 inch tire regular disc brake, big bike, removable battery. It's a, I wanna say 20 amp battery. And you got a nice display. I also put a mirrors, phone mounts, some accessories like the basket on the front, the basket on the back. This bike can go 28 mile per hour without paddling, with paddling. You can probably get around 30, 31. <clears throat> in range, it can go 50, 60 miles in range. No problem with this. It's a high of the ground, so I use it when there's a little bit chance of rain. Love this. Very comfortable with the delivery setup anyway. Then we got my old trusty VC10. Now the VC10 I got almost two years ago. That was my first scooter. I did a lot of upgrades on it. The original come with 25 amp battery and after a few months I realized it's not enough so I got the external battery. It ran parallel with the original battery and that's another 25 amp. So that's giving you almost 50 amp of battery and no more range anxiety. This thing can go and I mean can go. I put some tail light on the back. I put some nice uh, nuts cover. I put a uh, steering damper, speaker, kitty bow to help and hold the battery, mirror, phone mounts. And that's it pretty much. Headlights, of course. But yeah, that's my baby. It's very nimby. It can go up to 50 miles per hour most likely between 45 to 48 and love it it's very small compared to the nami 
it's a 10 inch tire hydraulic system suspension on the back it's not adjustable but still good suspension and again that's my baby and this is the selection if you have any question if i forgot to mention anything just ask me because i just don't remember everything all right so what we're gonna do we're gonna ride each and one of them i'm gonna take you on the ride with me and you're gonna see it i'm not used of riding my scooter without the delivery box on it it's a little bit weird so we're gonna do a couple of runs and then we'll take you on a speed run wow it's so weird here we go let's try to open it up we're gonna put it on X mode keep in mind the battery is not fully charged so it's not gonna be full potential wow I'm really not used to riding without the box so well I'm actually not comfortable <laughs> Fifty-five, I think. I can't even look. Keep in mind that's without the turbo. I'm gonna put the turbo on the way back. Oh, the, against the wind, I think. Okay, let's put it on C mode and try to activate the turbo. Turbo on C mode. Now we're gonna put it X mode with the turbo. I didn't wanna go. Okay, I think we're around 57 or something. So I'm pretty sure if I put it on full setup, because again, that's not on full setup. I'm pretty sure if I put it on full setup, it's gonna be a lot faster. So whatever I got over here, you should add around four or five MPH on it, because that's not full potential. I'm not a hundred percent on all of the setting. All right, guys, we're taking my old trusty V-set. It's going to be a lot more slower than the Nami. Wow, again, without the delivery box. It's so freaking weird. All right. Whee!
Love this thing. Love my visit. All right, let's open this one up. Let's see what it can do. All right, let's open it up. Again, it's not on full power, not full setting, and definitely not full battery. I think I have like 85% on the battery, so whatever you guys see, keep in mind, it can go at least four extra. Oof, my God, driving without the delivery box. It's a different animal. The Nami was a different animal. The Visit is a different animal. All right, here we go. That's slow compared to the Nami. got it two years ago I couldn't pass that 15 miles per hour I was so scared a lot of chance change since then <laughs> my god I got to the point that 45 50 is too slow for me everything felt so small and then I got the Nami oh, what a different. I still love this scooter love it love it Let's take the hay bag, that's obviously going to be a lot less. Alright, we're taking the hay bag. Obviously, it's a huge different. It's a different animal. It's more comfortable, more relaxed riding. But it's still doing the job. Alright, we're going to start with this. You don't get the same thrill, but it's still an e-bike, but it's still fun and nice. All right, let's take it on the road. Okay, let's see, my battery is about to die. I hope you can get it before we die. We're gonna do a little bit of paddling now. So I don't know if you guys seen the cop over there. I actually forgot I'm still on recording. <clears throat> so I'm lucky I finished the test run with the Nami and the V set. Because you know I went 45, 55. And this is a 30 mile per hour zone. Never saw a cop over here sitting, but there is one in front of us. So he just waved at me when I pass by and we're gonna pass again. But now with the e-bike I know I'm not speeding. But god damn, if he would see me with the other scooters, 
I'll be in trouble. That's a new one. How you doing, buddy? All right, guys. So we just rode all three PV. Mummy Boney, Hayback Explorer, and Visa 10. I'm gonna do some editing, see which one is what. I appreciate everybody joining the channel. I really appreciate it. This is my team. We mainly do deliveries on it. And every once in a while on the weekend, I go with my girl and we have some fun on the parks. She have a tricycle, non-electric. All right, guys, I really appreciate you joining the channel. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any question, put in the comments below. I will reply. Thank you. ESD, peace out.